movieweb.com. So I wanted to begin by asking you um, a little bit about the colors that you use in the film that mm -hmm. sort of uh, set the tone of the film, why mm -hmm. you chose, there's some sort of um, bland colors in the beginning, the bright colors in the background, mm -hmm. sort of mm -hmm. muted, so I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about the color palette well, of the film. Well, I think that... that Ideally, uh, unfortunately, Anusha, the writer-director, is not here today, but this would be a question for her. Um, my guess is that uh, she's actually she's been more natural with the, the colors uh, and, and tried to show, show the place, rural India, as it is. Um, I, I find that the characters are very vibrant. So, I mean, it being a satire and a humorous take at w what life in rural India today is like, um, so I think the characters are very vibrant, and so, and a lot of colors in rural India are fairly vibrant. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I noticed there are certain things that are sort of accented in the background with a bright color, mm -hmm. and sort of more of the muted color, in the, in the, in the natural color, as you, yeah. as you said, yeah. in the forefront. I didn't know if there, you know, maybe there is a, a certain association with certain things, and that's what you wanted to accent. I, mm, I don't think so. I think he was just being uh, natural, just just keeping the colors natural, exactly. the kind of clothes they wear. Um, the kind of the kind of mud houses that you have in in villages. Was that important for you for the tone of the film to have it very naturalistic and it's very realistic? Uh, yes, I think so. I th the, the film is uh, is meant to be fairly realistic. Uh, of course, it is a satire and a humorous view at life in rural India. So, uh, it is one point of view. I mean, uh, a satire always takes one particular point of view, um, and and creates humor in that. But the setting is very natural. I think the casting indicates also that the how people do, I mean, people are as they appear in, in rural India. So it's the faces, it's the clothes they wear, it's the setting that they're in. We actually shot in a real village uh, called Badwai. It's actually a real village, and uh, we shot that with the support of, of the villagers there, yeah. Great. Yeah. Well, I was interested in the, uh, you know, the sort of plot of the film has to do with... Um, this government program yeah. to you know to aid uh, families of farmers who commit suicide. Sure. And so I was curious. Uh, you know, I'd never heard about being an American. I'd never heard of that. Is is that mm -hmm. really something that happens? And why the choice? Uh, you know, what uh, compels you to want to make a film about that? Well, farmer suicides is a big issue back home in India and has been for a while now. <clears throat> I think, uh, according to the census reports, the census is what. The, the data that government collects every 10 years. So from 1991 to 2001, uh, there have been around uh, 200,000 farmers who've committed suicide, which is an alarmingly high number. The numbers from 2001 to 2011 would probably come out in 2012, but uh, it's been, I mean, this, this epidemic has been around for a while, and I think for some time now, last few years, I think the government has really tried to apply their mind onto this and come out with policies which would address this issue. Uh, the media has been reporting fairly responsibly about, uh, responsibly about this particular issue of farmer suicides, I think. Uh, and there has a lot, I mean, I think even NGOs and, and people are concerned about why this is happening on such a large scale and how one can address it. Uh, so that is happening, though this film really doesn't go into the issues of farmers or why they're committing suicide. This is not a film that goes into that. It's really more a film about how, you know, how as a society today in India, we are focused only on our cities. And, and therefore, our villages and rural India um, is not life-sustaining in a healthy manner. All our resources, our wealth is all, you know, focused towards cities. And that results in... Um, um, I mean, the bulk of our country is in rural India. And so that results in a lot of migration that happens from villages to larger cities. That's not good for the cities, it's not good for the villages, and it's not good for the people who are uprooted from their roots, from their emotional um, you know, relationships, from their, from their emotions, from their memories. Uh, they're kind of uprooted from where they belong, and, and they then move on you know, because of their needs or, or uh, so it's on a certain level, it's it's a film which, you know, shows us this divide that's that's increasing between rural and urban India. It's almost as if there are two Indias in India, and uh, as a person who's lived in a city all his life, the the script that when I read it, it was very sensitizing to me, and it was an eye opener to me on a lot of levels. Um, so, 
I, really I think want to put that spotlight on the, on the pharmacies with that sort of Well, I wanted to really, uh, I love the script, so I, I just loved it. I mean, I, when I read the script, I didn't think it would be a film that, is, that would ever belong in mainstream uh, Indian cinema. But I thought it's, it's a story which is very engaging. It's funny, it's heartbreaking. Uh, it's about characters that we ought to know about more. Uh, and it's a great satire, not only on, I mean, it's a satire on administration, how the administration reacts, how politicians react, how the media reacts, and how, in fact, civil society reacts. You know, quite similar to, I mean, the thing is that when we showed the film in Sundance, for example, the kind of response we got from Americans was that this is quite reflective of how things are, even in first world countries like the US, when, uh, you know, Katrina struck New Orleans. Uh, the kind of responses we got after screening was a lot of people said that, you know, the administration didn't react appropriately. Uh, apparently, for very long, even till today, there are funds which were collected, didn't reach the people that they, it ought to have, how politicians reacted. Uh, so it is reflective of how things are, perhaps all across the globe, you know, where we, where we as a society tend to ignore or not really think about people who are less privileged. Deeply live. Tor din sajni ni ni aave kaise gujaro raat. Abey saale, ita gaan phat rahi hai aur tumhe sajni ki padi hai.